Hello guys, in this video we will do a map layout to try to print our map and make it look nice and have all the map elements that we talked earlier in the beginning of the course uh, to add all these map elements to the map before we print it. So on ArcMap there is two ways to view the data. Uh, if you go to the view menu on the top here you will see like you have data view which is the view we are in right now and you have a layout view. And when you choose the layout view, you will see like the map is have been fitted in a different way and been viewed in a different way. Also, you can change the view from data view to layout view from the bottom here. Here you can select data view and you can go to the layout view. So right now we are going to try to make our map looks nice to be printed. So the way we do this, we need to zoom in a little bit. So you still can zoom in to the map. So we are going to zoom in and we're gonna pan a little bit here and from here we will start to add more things to our map so we are going to select the select element we're gonna choose this and we bring it a little bit to the left and if we go to the insert menu you will see that you have some options here that have been enabled for you if we are in the data view and you go to the insert you will see that all these options is disabled because it's only enabled in the layout view so we will go back again to the layout view and we will start to add all the elements we discussed before so the first element we will add the title we will call this map title Balboa Island Newport Beach California so this is our title for the map and it will be added somewhere on the map right now we can also drag and drop it somewhere like anywhere we want so we're gonna put it on the top and we also can change how the style looks like by double clicking on it and then click on change symbol and it change symbol here we can select the font we can we can select uh, what color we can select the size of the font and we can change how our title looks like I'm gonna keep it the way it is right now because it looks nice and I'm gonna cancel this one the next thing we will add is the legend so the legend will ask us which layers I want to show the legend for so of course I want to show all the layers I have which is the ports streets houses and blocks so I'm gonna keep them right here on the left so I'm going to keep them right here on the right side but if I want to show like uh, less I will go remove one of them so I'm gonna put it back and also you can reorder them to put them on the top or the bottom and then we'll go next and here you can change the title of the legend and you can change the color the size and the font I'll go next for all of the options right now because this is just the basic layout in our advanced section we will go through each part of that and what we can do with it so we're gonna go next next and finish so now we have we have our legend right here on our map we can make it a little bit bigger and put it on the right side here you can also make the map a little bit smaller and then the next thing we will add is insert north arrow and when you click insert north arrow you will get a lot of options between the look and the shape of the north arrow so we will for, for example select this one and we are gonna put it here on the top right I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and then we can also bring this legend in the middle and then we are going to insert scale bar we're gonna choose how the scale bar looks like I'm gonna select this one we're gonna make it here on the left bottom I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and we are going to insert scale text I'm gonna make it look like that here it is it's very small I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so just to make it a looks a little bit more nicer instead of 1 to 2752 we can just try to change our zoom to see how that will affect the scale so now it looks a little bit nicer that it shows one unit equal 3000 unit on our map. Now our map looks nice but most people don't know where Balboa Island is and where it is uh, located in California or Newport Beach. 
So we need to add an overview map on the right side here. And the way to do this is by going to insert and create a data frame. And a data frame will create another data frame similar to this one that you can add how many layers you want and make it look however you want to be anywhere you want on the layout. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to make sure that this looks like here on, on the right side. Now I will add the base map that the same base map I have here. Select the new data frame and come here and say add base map. we will add the same base map we have on our main data frame. And as you see right now, the new data frame contain our base layer, but we need to go to where our uh, main map is. So we are going to do this by going to the data view again. And because we are selecting this data frame, we have this map here. So we are going to zoom to our area of interest, zoom to California, Los Angeles area and we'll go to Newport Beach. So as we know, our main area of focus right here is exactly this area right here. So we are going to keep this view looks like that, but we are going to just draw one red rectangle around the area of interest. So we are going to do this by enable our draw toolbar by right click here and say enable the draw. And now I can start to draw on the map or add any text. So I'm going to come here and select I want to draw a rectangle. I'm going to draw my rectangle over here. And of course, as you see right now, it looks uh, yellow. So I'm going to double click on it. And it's going to give me an option to change how this rectangle looks like. So I'm going to make the fill color with no color. And I'm going to make the outline red. And I'm going to make the outline a little bit thick so we can see it. So right now this is how our map overview is going to look like when we go back to the layout view. So as you see here right now it shows uh, where is our area of interest. Still not good enough so what we will do is we go back to the data view and try to zoom in a little bit more like this and I think that will look good enough for our map overview right here. And as you see now the map looks nice. We can uh, add more elements. And this is the basic uh, map elements you need for any map before you print it. The title, the legend, the scale, and the map itself, and a map overview. And now after you've finished how your map looks like, you can come to file and say print preview. And this is when you print it, this is how it's going to look like. And you can go to file and select print to print your map from here. And also you can go to file again and click export map. Export map will give you the ability to print the current view uh, as a PDF or as, uh, for example, we have options here as an image, BMP or GBG or PNG or PDF. So we are going to save it as a PDF to our course data location. I'm going to create a new folder here and we're going to call it map layout. And we're going to say save. It's going to be saving our data as a PDF. So now our PDF has been created. So if we go to our folder location where we saved the PDF, we can open it and view it. It's going to be right here, map layout, and we can open the PDF and look at it. And you can use this PDF to send it to anyone as your uh, final map layout. And we close it here. So this is the simple basic way to create a layout for your map and print it or export it to PDF to share it with anyone. Uh, I want you to save this MXD, but I want you to save as and save it to our map layout and we are going to call it Balboa Island dash layout. We're going to save it. And we're just going to close this one here because we are going to use our original MXD to uh, publish our data to ArcGIS online in the next video. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.